Hi, Happy New Year. I hope that the start of 2022 has been kind to you so far. Today I wanted to talk through some of my favourite purchases that I made in 2021. And I have to say when I was looking over my purchases list, because I do tend to keep a little record, that I noticed that most of these purchases were ones that I made sort of in the first eight months of the year. And I actually think that's better because I've had a longer time to actually wear them and see how I like playing around with them and incorporating them into my closet. And I do just want to dive right in and talk about one of my absolute favorites. It is a wardrobe classic, especially if you really like this sort of piece and it gels with your personal style, a trench coat. This one is from Max Mara and it is in this really lovely cool toned mousy brown or taupe and I was drawn to this for the color and also the fact that it is more of a relaxed silhouette. I do have a couple of other trench coats which are slightly more of a lighter neutral and those are great and are the sorts of things that I'll be able to wear forever but I really wanted something that felt a bit more modern and more in line with the silhouettes that I have noticed myself gravitating towards over the past 12 months and this really ticked all the boxes. I mean Max Mara you know is a really beautiful brand, one that is renowned for quality and luxury and I was really thrilled to find this one on sale and add it to my closet. It's also water resistant which is fab because I have been caught in a little bit of a downpour wearing this and I didn't get too wet at all. My next favourite purchase was a pair of shorts. Very timely because it is the middle of summer here in Sydney. They are from a Korean brand called Among and they are these beautiful herringbone cotton linen shorts in an oatmeal colour. Coincidentally I am also wearing the dark chocolate brown colour today. I love these so much because they're machine washable. They are a really timeless silhouette. They're quite sort of a slim classic cut and I find that they work really nicely both dressed up and dressed down. Great with a t-shirt or a singlet but equally nice with something that feels a bit more fancy and uh, the quality of them is really lovely. Uh, definitely one of those brands that I'm going to be looking to more in the future. I've got these items here in no particular order but it's just occurred to me that there's a little bit of a theme. It's an autumn winter piece and a spring summer piece so continuing on with that trend the next item which was one of my favorites is this Jill Sander for Uniqlo men's jacket. Now I think it must have been three years ago I purchased a black wool jacket from And Other Stories which is a really nice heavyweight wool flannel and it was a style I wanted to incorporate into my closet because I think it's a really nice outerwear piece, a bit different and it gives me a, another interesting silhouette to play with. But I just found that the jacket, the fabric was a little bit too heavy for what I was after and I wanted something that had a bit more fluidity and movement when you were holding the garment in your hands. And when I found this one in the men's section, which I talk about this all the time, but the men's section is one of my favorite places to shop. I was beyond thrilled because there were loads of sizes. I believe, yeah, I sized up to a medium and it's just got a very uh, chill sort of a vibe to it when I put it on. Uh, and I always love my outfits when I'm wearing this. The color of it is also divine to it. It's this very dark forest green and uh, the fabric feels really nice as well. It's got a very smooth hand feel. Um, unfortunately, because this was a limited collection piece, I don't think this exact one will be available, but I'm sure there'll be something similar that I can link down below. The next pick is from one of my favorite New Zealand brands, Marl, who I really purchased a lot from in 2021, just because I felt like the brand's designs really gelled with the direction that my personal style has been going in. The top that kind of made it into this favorites list is, I believe it's called the Inez top. And I'm not sure how well you're actually gonna be able to see it. It's probably gonna be quite blown out here against the white background, but it is a gauzy semi-sheer white blouse, which has this uh, seam across the chest. And then it has these blues on sleeves. And there's this tie on the shoulder, which is actually what allows it to be incredibly functional and allows you to adjust the fit. So you can either wear it so it's worn up on your shoulders or you can loosen the tie and wear it down uh, on, so you have your shoulders exposed, which I think is really nice. And I love when a top allows you to have that versatility. Uh, it makes it feel a lot more interesting and definitely something that I tend to reach for much more. It looks incredibly good when worn with a pair of white jeans as well. Now I'm gonna hazard a guess that my next favorite is not going to be to everyone's taste and that is totally fine. <laughs> but it comes from a brand that I've also again been purchasing from quite a lot in 2021. 
Tibby. This is the Liam Oversized Blazer and I have to say I search high and low in order to be able to track this down. Uh, it's a really lovely neutral to cool toned brown or taupe blazer and uh, I remember when I first shared this on Instagram I did get questions or remarks saying that jacket is far too big for you but actually this is the size small and Amy Smilovic who's the designer and the founder of the brand she talks a lot about intentional fit and how she intends an item to fit on your body and this particular jacket has been engineered in a way that it will fit exactly as she intended on someone who is my size and you'll see that while it is oversized it doesn't look like it is too big for me it doesn't look like I've gone and stolen a jacket out of my dad's wardrobe if you know what I'm saying but the details on it are just really beautiful for one it has this button here on the side so you can actually pull the jacket across and you create another interesting silhouette I suppose you could actually add or fasten a button onto some of your more oversized blazers if you wanted to replicate this uh, in a more affordable way then the other detail that I really like is on the back it has this little hook or d-ring which allows you to hang it up if you're out and about somewhere very very handy uh, in terms of just discerning quality uh, I have mentioned this in another video but one way that you can tell that buttons are going to be very secure is when they have a small button on the inside it means that your buttons are less likely to fall off when they do have that interior button fastened on there so that is my next favorite purchase this next dress is one that I actually received DMs asking if I would be happy to sell it which unfortunately no this is one of my absolute favorites it is from series life and it is this beautiful linen dress this was called the picnic dress and if it is still available um, I know at the time uh, that I last looked on the website they had it in multiple different color options but this is this very lovely sandy stone color has these puff sleeves uh, the wrap detail across the body and then a really long full skirt and of course it has pockets which who doesn't love pockets on a dress it's kind of a must for me I have really fond memories of wearing this when we went to Bangalore just after our son turned one and uh, this was one of the dresses that I wore quite a lot while we were away just a very easy breezy dress to wear when it is warm okay next favorite you will have seen me wear a lot and I suspect this is probably one that's going to pop up in my most worn items for 2021 because uh, I literally wear these or the black ones every single week uh, they are from H&M and I talk about this all the time but you do not need to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars on uh, luxury goods in order to buy quality you just have to be very discerning and have an eye as to what to look out for when you are shopping the high street so these trousers um, they have this really lovely felted uh, texture to them they almost look or resemble a wool which is really surprising but they are a polyester uh, they fit really nicely too I had to get mine taken up because they were far too long and I wanted them to be a slightly cropped trouser on me uh, but yeah I have them in the black I have them in sort of a fawny brown color which is really pretty too that version actually has an elasticated section at the back which is nice if you are planning to indulge as it doesn't have this rigid um, waistband like black and the gray pair that I've got but they're just a really great trouser and they wash incredibly well they come out looking like new uh, and they don't really need too much ironing either which is great and they're incredibly easy to style I have done some reels where I have worn these multiple different ways which I will link down in the <laughs> description box below and actually I have done a reel with these shorts as well showing you a few of the different ways that I like to wear them okay um, final clothing item before I talk about a couple of accessories is this skirt here from Eero and this one I know is probably gonna seem like a bit of a wild card considering all of these other items that I've been talking about are all neutrals I know there's a vibrant red in here uh, which I really love red is a color that I'm constantly drawn to I'm not sure why but it really excites me and it's something that I like to add into my wardrobe seasonally generally I find it works best in the spring summer months for me uh, especially when I've got a little bit of a tan this skirt was actually a pre-love find on the real reel and if I can find one on there I will link it below 
When it arrived, I remember being very disappointed because the elastic had completely gone. There was no tension to it. So I took it to the tailor and she was able to replace the elastic with a new one. So it fit me perfectly, which was ideal. But I love the fact that it's got the slightly asymmetrical hem. It's very kind of flippy and flirty and it looks amazing when paired back with more masculine elements, things that are a bit more oversized on top, but also equally great with a little silk camisole and some strappy heels if I wanted something that was sort of summertime appropriate to go out for drinks with my girlfriends. Okay, last two are accessories and I thought I would mention the belt first. And I have to say, I think one of my favorites is this one here from Anderson's. I had toyed with mentioning my Alexander McQueen belt because that one, I just, I'm obsessed with it. But I thought um, from a practicality point in terms of something that I really love that I am wearing a lot, this is it. I love the fact that it is textured leather. Uh, to me, it just creates a little bit of visual interest, especially if you're wearing an all black outfit. Um, but it's also got a really lovely hand feel to it. The leather reminds me of what you would kind of get on a luxury pebbled leather handbag. Um, not too dissimilar to my Polen number one, the large size that I have, actually. Um, and yeah, I mean, you can kind of see it's not stiff at all. It really does just move around in your hands nicely. And I like the gold square buckle. Um, they do have a few different color options and variations. I have mine in the size 70 and I think if I were to get it again maybe I'd get the 75 and then just pop a few extra holes in so that I could wear it both as a waist belt and a hip belt too. While it is a little bit more on the expensive end for a leather accessory like this I do think that you're getting incredible value for money because the quality is just exceptional and beyond uh, many of the other belts that I have. Final thing I wanted to mention is a handbag and this really has just been one of my best purchases of 2021 because it is so practical. I've used this so much. You can probably actually just tell from the shape how well loved it is because it isn't a perfect rectangular shape anymore. It does sort of cave in ever so slightly uh, up at the top where I kind of grabbed it like that. Um, I found this really handy if I want to use a slightly larger bag, I can have all of my core essentials in here and then I can just pop it into a tote bag without having to pull everything out, which is very convenient. The only issue I had was with the strap and I had to get some extra holes punched in. However, I do believe now that the new versions come with more holes punched on the strap so you can wear it slightly higher up on the body and in addition to that the leather strap does match the bag as mine is smooth with the uh, crop embossed leather uh, body but such a fab one and again this is really good value for money it's under 100 us dollars and i use mail forwarding i use ship it to in order to get it to australia for anyone curious i will leave a link to them down below but yeah that was the final purchase that i made in 2021 that really excited me so that is it a little roundup of my 10 favorite style purchases of 2021 i hope that you enjoyed this video i would love to know what your favorite purchase for 2021 was whether it was beauty related homeware related maybe it was a book please tell me down in the comment section below. Next week, I'm gonna come at you with my most worn items for 2021. So I think that's gonna be a really interesting video, uh, especially looking back on the year that was. So thank you so much for watching. Um, again, wishing you the most beautiful year ahead. I hope that it is just filled with so much happiness and joy. Thanks for spending some of your time with me and I will see you next week. Bye.